Okay, so we're out here amongst a, a few of the little vegetable crops here on the farm. And what we're going to talk about now is the importance of a very simple and inexpensive strategy called seedling treatment. We've talked a, a little bit about seed treatment. We're actually going to use the same three materials that we mentioned earlier. We're going to use this uh, wonderful liquid that we referred to as with a cheeky name called root and shoot. And we're going to uh, use platform, which of course, as I mentioned, was the combination of mycorrhizal fungi, trichoderma, and some bacillus species, and there's even sedimentous fluorescence, so it's a really nice little blend. Uh, and we're going to use BioN, the azotobacter that fuses and, and does such a great job in conjunction with mycorrhizal fungi. So, uh, wonderful seed treatment. We now know, it was always assumed that azotobacter, you put them on as a seed treatment, a month later other things on the root would eat them off, and we now know that's not the case. If you, you do a simple seedling or seed treatment, azotobacter Co coincides or coexists with that plant for the full crop cycle, fixing nitrogen for your whole crop cycle for that tiny little investment. So we've brought a trolley, we've got some water in it, we're going to add the shrimp, uh, Carl's going to help me here, we're going to add them and we're going to show you how simple it is to treat us. We've got a, uh, some young tomato seedlings here that haven't been treated yet, so we're going to treat them now ready to plant tomorrow. Uh, and. Um, and we'll also treat a, a tree seedling to show you how you might do that. We'd usually have the water a little deeper for that, but we'll slosh it over and give you the idea. Because once you've got those things on the roots, you've got them, unless you kill them off with something, uh, you've got that colonization happening. So the, the idea of seed, tr seed treatment or, seed, or seedling treatment is really this concept of a kickstart. And it's, it's kind of like a no-brainer that you're going to use so little nutrient for this tiny little seedling or even smaller seed that it's one of the most cost effective things you'll ever do. You're talking, you know, like with BioN, uh, a few litres per tonne, uh, similar with root and shoot, two or three litres per tonne of seed. So we're talking dollars per hectare or less, two, three dollars per hectare. But the results that you can get from that simple seed treatment, can you know, that's actually the best cost to benefit ratio of anything you'll do on the farm. Seed and seedling treatment is just a no brainer. Now, we struggle sometimes with the seed because if we want to we want to um, bring mycorrhizal fungi into the story. It's pretty difficult if you've got a fungicide on the seed. So in Australia, we like covers down under. We like uh, this this group in Victoria who produce uh, clean seed without the fungicides on it, and it's very well-grown seed, so it germinates very well. So keep that in mind as you know looking for the seed that without the cover without the fungicide on it, because you'll struggle to get mycorrhizal colonisation on a blue seed covered in a fungicide. So the, the concept is, they call it the, the, the early start for a plant carries right through to the end of the crop. And so getting them off with a, with a kickstart with some minerals and some microbes uh, right from the very beginning, or not from the beginning, the seed's the beginning, but in this case the seedling, it's so simple. So we'll just show you how it works. We'll add the ingredients. So we'll begin with the tiny little amount of bio, bio in, just half a capful. Uh, and this would tr treat a lot of seedlings to this, uh, this bucket full of this barrow full of, of liquid, uh, much more than what we've got here. Um, we've just got to open this up. Uh, so we're just using half a cap of BioN, that's the Azotobacter species, and we're going to sprinkle that through. There's very little amount that's required. Uh, it's very, very concentrated. Just put that back together. We can get that seen. And then the second component will be the platform. And we're just going to... we didn't bring a spoon, we'd used maybe a tablespoon in there, so we'll just sprinkle the equivalent of a tablespoon. Got to go down close to it. A little bit more. That's good. Uh, and then we'll add the root and shoot and then we'll mix them together. Now we forgot to bring a stirring spoon down, so Carl has developed his own way of stirring and he's pulled out a cover crop, a bit of uh, a bit of oats. And of course, if we use this, I mean, it's got the dreadlocks, it's got all the things we want. Uh, so those organisms are going to be mixed into that little inoculum, which is not a bad idea, so <laughs> we'll do that. So he's just going to put the root and shoot in there and then you can stir this if you like. <laughs> That's a unique idea, but it works. Oh. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, that's got it nicely mixed. And so now we'll take a, a tray of uh, Roma tomatoes, and we're going to dip that tray in there, just to give you an idea of how simple it is. I'll just put that over. It should be a little deeper than what it is, but we'll leave it for 
long enough for it to soak right through from the bottom. Sprinkle a little bit over the sides. That's good. And it's really as long as that, that's all that's required. And we can then take that out and that's colonized. So it's as simple as that. It's very, very simple. Um, we do the same thing again. That's it. A couple of minutes to let it uh, soak through. Soaks through really quick. Of course, the potting mix here is that potting mix recipe that we showed you. And this is, they've only been out of the ground, in the ground, in the potting mix for a very short time. And they've just jumped out of the potting mix because it's got so much goodies in it. But we never treated the seed because it's too small a seed and it gets too sticky. So now we're, instead, we're treating the seedlings. And we've got some corn here as well that will. Beautiful. It's got it all soaked through. And now, in the case of a tree, you know, usually they're going to come in plastic pots sort of thing, but you would have it deeper in that instance. In this case, we'll just slosh it over. But once you've got, you know, mycorrhizal colonization of that plant, uh, you've got it, basically. I'll put a slosh of it in. That's good. That's great. So, and that's colonized now forever unless you kill them. Uh, so the trichoderma will last full crop cycle. Well, in trees cases, uh, you know, in a normal crop cycle. And the, the mycorrhiza will last the whole time unless you kill them. They're there with that plant now for the rest of that plant's life. So simple thing, really valuable thing, seed treatment. Consider it if you've not done it. Seed and seedling treatment, no brainer. Thanks for watching.